Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's nice to see you again. Today we've got a bit of an update on this thing. So this is the Hang On Glass Algae Scrubber Filter thing. It's from Santa Monica Filtration. Um, check out the video up here somewhere. That's the first one where I was, did the unboxing and talked a bit about the features and how it's meant to work and all that kind of stuff. It's been in and running for exactly a month now, so I wanted to make a bit of a video to do a catch up or an update and let you know how I'm getting on with it. So I am going to cover some of my thoughts, um, some of the things that I've noticed about it, some quirks, some things that maybe could be improved or maybe I just don't understand them and then ultimately is it any good? Does it work? Does it do the job? So let's have a closer look. So like I say this has been running for a month now on this tank and um, this is the unit itself here it attaches to the side it's basically a clamshell type deal it's got one side here with the red LED light inside it it's not ultraviolet as some people were thinking in the previous video comments and then on this side you have some material that I think it encourages the growth of the algae if you like. Um, I haven't scraped the glass once this month so while there is still some algae on the glass itself it's vastly reduced from what would normally be there. I'm usually scraping this tank at least once a week just to be able to see into it because I mentioned in the previous tank there's a window up there it gets far too much light, um, but I don't really mind the algae so much because it's a shrimp tank, so they feed on it and it keeps them healthy. So like I say, it's been in running a month. I've not, I've not even looked inside it, so it's going to be a bit of a test for all of us, or a bit of a surprise for all of us. Um, some things that I've noticed so far, uh, the folk that sent me it, Santa Monica Filtration, they commented on the video and said the airflow wasn't high enough. Um, so they wanted me to up the flow. I was using, where is it, one of these little filters which I absolutely, uh, little air pumps rather, I absolutely love these things because they are practically silent. They're not the strongest but they perfectly easily run a sponge filter. But if it can't run that, hmm, that's, that's a little bit of a downside I suppose. So I'm now using this thing here which is a, a larger dual output air pump I think it's a 6 litre per minute or something like that uh, 5.4 litres per minute and it's adjustable so you can whack it way up or whack it way down so I've kind of got it set kind of halfway it's plenty big enough I don't know if the microphone can pick it up but when it's down here the bubbles breaking on the surface it's really noisy so I did a bit of a comparison against a traditional air filter um, and I don't know how this is possible but this is louder. But they do give you one tip in the instructions that if that's a problem for you you can simply grab it and raise it up a bit so the bubbles are actually just outside of the water line and then it is quieter but the air pump's not quiet enough for me, but that's because of me and the air pump that I had. So I generally push it down when I'm not in the room, but then when I'm in the room and I've got calls to make or work to do or whatever, and it's annoying me, I'll raise it up a bit. So, other thoughts. Obviously, there's a big red light. <laughs> It's, it's not obtrusive, but it's not unobtrusive either, really. I mean, it does, it's what, it's about six inches, seven inches, something like that. It, it takes up a little bit of the real estate within the tank. Ideal if you've got a sump or something like that, or if I had no filter media in the back section of this tank, I would hide it in there just to get it out of the way, because you, I don't like having things in the tank where possible. Um, but again, that's personal preference, it's not about that. This is really just about does it work. And clearly, it does work. It has reduced the amount of algae uh, on the glass, for instance. It's not really made an impact on any of the algae that's already there and grown on the rocks and stuff like that. But yeah, 100% it has reduced the algae. Are you prepared to make the sacrifice for having something in your tank doing this? Um, to keep on top or to lower the amount of maintenance you might need to do uh, or not. Um, water test wise 
it's made, if it has made any difference to the actual nitrate level in the water, I can't tell. Um, I generally use API Freshwater Master Kit and it's a colour based test and I always find that dead hard to distinguish when there's only small changes anyway. So yeah, it may have reduced the nitrates. I can't see how because my assumption here before I look at it is that all the algae that was or would normally be go growing on the glass is growing in there. So it's supporting the same amount of um, plant life if you like and it's the plant life itself that eats up the nitrates. Um, so maybe over time, I don't know, but like I say it's only been in a month. Let's give it a go, let's open it up and see what happens. So I'm going to try and move this tank so it's a bit more side on. So you can maybe see what's going on. So first off, let's turn off the air pump. Right, so essentially there's a bit of a technique to this apparently. What you want to do is grab the inside, take the outside off, put that down here somewhere. Looks a bit like a brothel in the room now. And to stop any algae flowing off, just going to scrape it up the glass. There we go. Oh, that's not quite as much as I was expecting. So, I don't know if you can see this, but there's obviously algae growing on the glass there as well, and I would expect that, I think that's perfectly normal. And then if I can get this into focus, that's the algae there. So there is definitely some hair algae growing on it. There's a little cherry shrimp in there as well, so let's get him back in here. And some snails, or puffer food as I like to call them. And snail eggs. Do do bear with me. So there definitely is algae growth in here. I thought this would be carpeted, but I must say, obviously I mentioned earlier that the guys who make this told me that the airflow was too low. I didn't have another air filter to hand, so it probably ran for a week and a bit with that slow airflow before I went out and got my new uh, air pump to give it some better flow. So it's maybe only had two and a half, three weeks. Um, with some decent airflow going in there, but that's what it is. So the recommendation now is I go away and I scrape this off, put it back in again and start the process over again I guess. So they say for this, uh, basically take it to the sink, get an old toothbrush or something like that, scrape this off and put it back in again. That's a bit of a closer look at the algae that's on the glass itself. So that's more like what it would look like um, after a month of me not scraping the glass. So I would expect to see that level of algae all over the rest of the tank. So it's good that it's concentrating it all in one place. I suppose that does make it easier to clean. So my main question here is, is it easier to take this off every few weeks, go down to the sink and scrub it off, than just scrape the glass once a week? I don't know, I'm not sure. My other main concern is I had to go out and buy another air pump for this because the air pump that I had wasn't good enough. I think if airflow is such a concern, maybe that should be included in the package. If someone's going to be spending $100 on this thing, they could spend $100 on this and then have a cheap air pump running um, that's just not making it work, I'm sure. If I'd been running the correct air pump on that for a lot longer, I'd get a lot more algae growth there. Um, but if it needs that to work properly, maybe that should be included in the price. An air pump's what, a tenner, so if you're going to be spending £100 on this, make it £110 and make sure people aren't going to make a mistake when they buy it and use the wrong air pump, maybe. I don't like how noisy it is. It's not massively more noisy than a normal sponge filter but that just personal preference really is just something that annoys me slightly um, having noise because this is the office that I work in every day so 
it's courses for courses as they say and your application may differ it's definitely worked it's definitely clearer glass so on that front yes 100% recommendation it does the job could I make something like this DIY and cobble something together myself for a lot cheaper I, yes probably but people don't always like to do DIY stuff this is probably not the market that this is aimed at I guess the biggest proof in the pudding is am I going to continue using it and unfortunately the short answer is no so even though it does do the job it does work it's just not right for me here I might move it into a sump somewhere and if it becomes a problem I don't have any small tanks with a sump really that something this size would work with the red light um, itself it's just too distracting it's not natural I don't think having that in the tank where you can see it so maybe that's not the best application for it either um, but it's it's not skipped a beat I've been running this on uh, I had it on 20 hours a day they do say that you can go up to 24 hours a day if need be so maybe I should have ran it for 24 hours a day I might have got better growth off it um, but yes it's it's quite underwhelming I'm afraid and I'm really sorry to say this because these guys sent me this for free but I think it'd be really disingenuous if I just said well they sent it me for free so obviously it's brilliant it 100% does work but I probably wouldn't buy it myself I'm sure there are people out there though that this is the ideal solution I'm not quite sure what situation this is the ideal solution for but it works it does the job it does a job it's made a difference I just don't think it's for me uh, for this tank so there you go I'm going to put links down in the description to the Santa Monica filtration company the guys who sent me this please go and check them out I mean although it's not necessarily something I would buy myself I want to thank them for sending me it and giving me the chance to review it um, it has said in the last video that sometimes it takes a lot of balls to send out your products for people like me to review them because you don't know what they're going to say so I'm grateful that I got the opportunity to give it a review I hope I've been honest and I hope I've not been too harsh ultimately it's not something that I think is for me but it might be for you so check out this and various other products that they've got as well um, I, just, I thought it was more important to be truthful and give you my honest opinions rather than just make stuff up and say it's brilliant just because they gave me it for free um, but again, thank you for sending me it and please go and check it out. They sell all kinds of stuff, it's not just this. Um, so they will have other products that might suit your application even better. Um, so that's it for today, it was just a quick video. Oh, one other thing that they mentioned is if you do get decent growth on this bit, you can uh, harvest it and feed it to your algae eating fish and things like that. So there is that as well, which I haven't necessarily touched on here. Um, but check out the comments, let me know what you think um, I'm sure the guys from Santa Monica Filtration will be along to tell me what I've done wrong or uh, defend themselves slightly more please don't give them a hard time uh, listen to any advice that they've got, they obviously know what to do better than I do um, maybe they can give us some pointers or some tips to get some better results out of this they've also got a forum as well where you can go and check out other ways to use their, their products and this sort of thing as well um, but that's it, just a quick video today, just wanted to give a bit of an update. So thank you all for watching, and remember, if you haven't, click that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Um, make sure you don't miss the next one. And see you next time. Bye!